I'm Michael Rex, laity, North Broadway United Methodist Church, Capital Area North. May I have a moment of personal privilege? Right, and give it a try, friend. I watched the new church start presentation yesterday and saw that their ministries are reaching marginalized people. I was moved by that and made a $500 pledge to the Plant West Ohio campaign. I've been a lay member here for five years, and we seldom recognize reconciling congregations who are reaching lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer people, and these are people who are marginalized by our church. If you are a member of a reconciling congregation, would you stand with me? If you are a reconciling United Methodist, would you stand with me? If you wish you were part of a reconciling congregation, would you stand with me? If you support full inclusion of people of all sexual orientations and gender identity, would you stand with me? I have followed my call to serve Christ through the ministries of the United Methodist Church since I was president of Youth Fellowship at Epworth Church in Lima. I have waited my whole life for this church to recognize fully the ministry of people like me, and there are a lot of us. I was touched by the clergy who signed the coming out letter, letter Reverend David Meredith, Reverend John Gerard, Reverend Laura Young, Reverend John Wooden, and candidate for commissioning Ken Shun. Your courage encourages the LGBTQ laity who need role models and spiritual leaders. Our board of ordained ministry has failed to approve Ken Shun for ministry as a commissioned deacon in the church. I wish I was surprised by that, but I felt like one more layer on the scar. It's not just about us, it's about the church, and it's about God. That's what I heard our bishop say at the ordination service. Ken Shun's call and gifts are a gift to this church, and the elephant in the room is our refusal to receive that gift. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Rex, for your witness. Now, 